Over 2,000 beneficiaries of the Micro Enterprises Enhancement Scheme converged on Gloria Gardens in Benin City with high hopes that the funds given to them would go a long way to support their small and medium scale businesses. Wife of the Edo State APC Governorship candidate, Professor Idia Izeyamu, who was the chairperson at the event, appreciated the federal government and the Director General of National Directorate of Employment for the initiative. She assured women in Edo State that her husband, Pastor Sage Izeyamu, has a dream for women to be independent and will stop at nothing to assist them to achieve their aspirations, hence the need for them to vote en masse for APC. We still say our women they suffer, our women they cry, our women don't get anything. And I promise all of them one thing. I say I won't stand as una mama. And I stand here, give you back. As una mama. I stand here to say our women they will weep no more. Representative of the Director General, National Directorate of Employment, said the body is saddled with the responsibility of reducing poverty and enhancing wealth generation across the country. About 60% of the population live in abject poverty. In order to arrest the public situation caused by unemployment and poverty, the federal government established the National Directorate of Employment to articulate programs in that creating an enabling environment for employment generation. Some beneficiaries expressed gratitude for the initiative and extolled the leadership qualities of Pastor Sage Izeyamu and his wife, Professor Idia. I've been on this uh, Izeyamu side. Since he switched over to APC, I am still on his side. I want to say thank you for the, uh, the money they gave us. I'm a widow. They drove me out with my children. But when I met our mother, true mama, Bernardo, I'm happy today. I never see the man when yes, he yes, like yes, this. Yes, God yes, give you yes, power, give you grace to win this election. The wife of the Edo APC governorship candidate, Professor Ize Yamu, said if her husband is elected as governor of the state, his administration will ensure continuous empowerment of women and youths and also attract investors to the state. Ameze Obaisiagbon, reporting.